everyone! It's been a very long time since I made a YouTube video. I made a YouTube video about three years ago, which is very embarrassing, um, which was me intending to start making YouTube videos and guess what? That whole never did. I just stopped. I think I filmed another one and then never edited it and I'm a failure essentially. But I keep wanting to start because I really want to make YouTube videos. But I keep finding the excuses like, oh, I don't have my lights or my camera, my, my tripod broke or like whatever. Um, but I just ordered a bunch of things from Sugar Thrills, as did everyone in the pastel pink kawaii community because it's all over my Instagram feed and all of my mutuals are posting pictures and videos of the stuff that they got. So I'm going to be one of those hosts for you right now. Um, get ready for another Sugar Thrills Dolls Kill haul just like everyone else <laughs> that you've been seeing. So yeah, here is the stuff that I got basically I was like I can't make excuses any longer I've just bought a bunch of stuff that can be a whole video let's do this okay so so the first thing that I grabbed was this really cute sheer 90 type dress kind of like thing sugar thrills are very known for their um they have loads of things with this really cute heart buckle on it they have those bralettes they're like that most of them are pvc they have them in like pink and lilac i think they might have do they have them blue i know they have them black too and they have like the really cute heart buckles and that's kind of like their staple thing i kind of want to get one of those bralettes and the pants maybe later but i grabbed this because i just thought it was so freaking cute and like you can layer it was there's so many different things that you can do i love sheer stuff because you can like the different things that you can do with it is like there are so many things, there's such, so many options that you can do and you can either dress like really down or dress like really up with it and it's just so cute and the fabric is like, it's like lace but it's elasticated so it's kind of stretchy which means that it, like it can fit over things and you can put stuff underneath that and it's not going to be like really tight or pull and it also means it's really comfortable so yeah and it's really cute, it's pink and um, it has, it's like sheer with these little hearts on it and it's very very cute the next thing I got was a um, similar line of things in kind of like nightwear in quotations is I really been wanting the world since like I think like 2014 was like when the kimono trend started and it's all you know kimonos and like sheer robes and like things to put over things that are like sheer and like loose and cute and I haven't found one that I liked Everyone's getting kimonos and I just didn't think that they were very cute or like I couldn't find the ones that were my style and I always wanted some kind of like boudoir like nightwear like robe type thing that was really cute and lacy but like I like I couldn't find the right one or like I didn't have the money to like splash out on specific things but I saw this I kind of fell in love a bit and it's this really gorgeous um like robe type thing and the sleeves are like poofy but they're like long and poofy so it feels really like vintagey and then it has this big bit of lace at the end and it's just so cute and it, the the tie isn't the cutest it's kind of like the tie looks slightly more cheaply made than the rest but it's still really pretty and like you don't have to wear it with it tied it's also it's kind of let me show you It's kind of not really intended to be done up because like this is me pulling it to be done up and like it doesn't really go so like tying it is kind of just like another style of wearing it's meant to be worn like over stuff like this so that like, oh, like it's so cute and like look at this look at the sleeves they're so cute I feel very nice in this I like it so the next thing I got is something that everyone has been grabbing recently and I think, I think most of the stuff in this collection, I mean most of the stuff that I got is new. They just um, uploaded like a heck ton of new stuff onto Dolls Kill. Because they used to have, I think they had like the 90 before and they had all those like bralettes and stuff like that. And they had like shoes, they did have like some like a bunch of stuff but like they just suddenly dropped a bunch of new stuff and that's why everyone's been grabbing stuff. And everyone and their aunt, well maybe not everyone's aunt, but everyone <laughs> and their Kai Pastel friends has been, maybe you have a Clara Pastel out on, if you do, that would be really cool, and I want to meet on. But this dress, it's so cute. Everyone's been saying it looks really like Princess Peach, which is actually really good, because my friend has party, is, is having a party soon, that is gonna be like um, go-karting, but everyone has to dress as Mario Kart characters, which is 
excellent because I can wear this and be Princess Peach and I'm living. It's so cute. It's velvet. It's a really, really nice shade of velvet because a lot of the times pink velvets are like really kind of salmon-y and like kind of not the cutest. Like some things I'm like willing to accept the salmon with because the design is so cute. But a lot of the time I'm just like, can't you make it a kind of nice but like pastel bubblegum baby pink. But this one is, it's so pretty. It's really gorgeous and it's it's really stretchy and elasticated, which again is nice because it means things can be like fitted at the bust. And the sleeves are super cute and poofy. I think that's why everyone's saying it looks very peachy, like the sleeves are so poofy. And it has this little ribbon at the back. I don't know how I feel about the ribbon. I don't hate it, but I don't, it, the, the ribbon isn't the thing that made me go, I have to have this, but it's, it's very cute. And yeah, it's just so pretty. I really like it. I love velvet stuff. Makes me feel very classy. I also got this sheer-ish, it's kind of sheer, it's like half sheer, like you could get away with just wearing a bra that's like not the most special bra in the world under this because I don't think it would really show, but this like checker, like rainbow checker, it's kind of like a sporty kind of top. I have another top that's kind of similar to this, it's not sheer but it has the same like kind of like from illustrated people I've had for like years. Um, but this one, it's just so cute and it has a little like heart detail, like the zipper is like a heart and I thought it was going to be plastic but it's metal and it's really nice and just the rainbow is like such a cute rainbow, like I really really like it. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. And then this is the last piece of clothing, well ooh, a bit of a spoiler there. This was the thing that initially made me want to buy stuff because I, I mean I wanted to buy stuff anyways but this was the thing that I was like Okay, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff from Trigger Bros. Cause this Carney is so... I have such a thing with Carnies, okay? Cause I have a really cute pink one, but it's kind of slightly salmon-y salmon and it's like not best made, best quality. And like, it's cute, but I kind of just wear it inside the house when I'm feeling really gross. Or like, not when I'm feeling gross, but like, when I want to make myself feel a little bit nicer, but I'm still just in my PJs, but I'm wearing a Cardi. And I really want one of the Lazy of Cardies. But I think everyone knows they're real expensive and I'm really picky because if I'm gonna buy one, if I'm gonna get one, I want to get a really, really nice one. And the one that I like the most is the Waste of Time one. But I think everyone knows that is really expensive and really sought after and really hard to find because it, it it is so expensive because it is so wanted and it's not really rare, but it's kind of rare because just like they get snapped up so fast. So like it was, I think it was initially like eighty pounds and it's now like you'll be lucky to five up, find it under like 120 and for some reason whenever they pop up they're never in the UK that was in like Australia and like for some reason there'll be one that's like 120 Australian dollars which is like actually way cheaper in pounds but it'll be like what's the point so I'm gonna have to pay that exact price on top of it to get it shipped here <sighs> but I'm just trying to kind of what I really like and it's so cute look at it Look at the buttons, they're little rainbows. I'm like, it's such a cute rainbow but it's like the perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. And it's such a gorgeous colour. And I really like this checker print, but I have a I have like a top that I got from like, I think it was like Forever 21 or something, in this kind of like pattern. And it's really cute, but like for some reason the pink bits have either either the pink bits are furry and the white bits aren't or like vice versa but it just makes it look kind of weird because it's like why is half of it not fluffy but this and this is so thick I didn't think this was going to be so thick but it feels oh so okay I can't put a cardigan on it feels so nice oh my cry it's so cute and it's it's kind of like like it's kind of cropped like it's it only comes to here but that's really cute because like if I've got like a skirt on it goes like right where my waist is and that is always a good look pull your waist in it's just so cute and it's like warm like it's really really thick like i did not think it was gonna be this thick and i think it's like i don't know what it's made of but it's real fluffy like it is very fluffy like if you have like allergies to things that are really fluffy i would be i would be worried. i'm not sure well actually i think it is synthetic i think it is synthetic the, the hairs have a blunt end which that's for fact if you want to know if things are made with real animal fur or not if it has a tapered end like goes to a point then it's real if it has like a blunt end that means it's plastic essentially <laughs> so um but yeah it's so cute i just love the buttons the buttons are so cute oh my god <sighs> i'm gonna keep this on because it's so cute and it kind of goes with this top it's like complimentary 
maybe it's maybe some people will say this is a fashion pattern but I don't care I like things that are if you can tell so the last thing I got this is something that I've really wanted for ages but I was like that's really stupid like you don't need that but like <laughs> basically my girlfriend and I got a bunny a few months back he is wonderful and darling he is called Koo and yes if you are a fan of BTS yes he is named Koo after Jungkook and he is wonderful and darling and of course if we're getting a pet we're gonna make sure that everything to do with him is as cute and pastel and pink pink slash lilac as it possibly can be because what's the point if you're not trying you're not trying if you're not trying your hardest to make it pastel um and we got we like you know we've been like you know doing hell of loads of research on rabbits for all the rabbit youtubers um and we really wanted to get like a cute carrier. I don't want one of those plastic ones. Like we have a plastic one for my cat back home with my parents. And it's like, it's really like cumbersome and it's so fucking annoying to carry. Like ugh, it just sucks. Um, so we wanted to get like a bag type one. And we bought this one and it is pink, but like the panels, like the mesh panels are like black, I guess, because they don't make like plastic mesh on like, you know, on like, you know, on like, sports bags or whatever that kind of air not air text, that kind of mesh plastic mesh they don't really make it in other colors than black i don't think maybe they do in white i don't know i don't do sports as a kid but they don't really like that it's black is what i'm saying and the handles the straps are like it kind of looks like a mini one of those sports bags that you like people had when, they, when you were a kid um and it's just like it's kind of cute like it's not that cute and like it's kind of small and like it fit him when he was a baby he's growing and also we're gonna get another bunny so we were like well, we need to buy a new one and I think some people know where I'm going with this because I'm talking about pet carriers and sugar pills but I got the pet carrier and this is so my girlfriend was like why did you buy that like we don't actually need it yet because he still fits in the other one we don't have another one yet and I was like yeah but I want it <laughs> okay so it's been like two weeks because my camera decided to cut the footage and like delete half of it and then I realized I didn't have my camera battery here so I had to wait to get it from my mom. So yeah, I'm back and it's been like two weeks since I filmed the rest of that and I'm sorry if the setup is slightly different. But yeah, I bought the pet carrier and oh, uh, it's so big. Like I love it, I'm so happy, it's so big. Look how huge it is. It's really good because you could fit, it'll fit him in like if and when he grows more and when we get another one, they'll both fit in here. And you could fit like a lot of small dogs in here, I think, and like cats. But yeah, no, it's so freaking cute. And as I was saying, the mesh paneling is all pink and the pink hollow is so cute. And um, it's so fluffy. I'm not gonna lie, the fluff does kind of escape into the air. Um, but it's super super cute and it has these um, little metal um, like stud things on the bottom so it means that when you put it down it's not gonna I'm sure it will scuff a little bit but it's not gonna it's gonna prevent the amount of scuffage you would have on the bottom uh, without them and it's just really nicely made it has the handle straps if you want to hold it like this or if you're like me and like a good over the shoulder um, you can use the over the shoulder strap and yeah, it's just so cute. I'm really, really happy with that. I've wanted it for so long. It's so stupid, but I totally love it. I'm like... So yeah, that is the end of this video. That is the end of my Sugar Thrills haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. This has been my first time filming a YouTube video in a very long time. I hope it was good and I didn't talk too fast or talk too much. And I hope that I've managed to edit this into something uh, slightly watchable. Um, if anyone's curious about the makeup look I'm wearing right now, yes, it is a recreation of the cloud makeup look that I did on my um, Instagram back uh, a couple of months ago that I wore to Hive Japan. I had a lot, a lot of comments um, and DMs asking me if I could uh, film a makeup tutorial on that look. Um, so I did. I just filmed that right before this. Um, so hopefully that will be up shortly and I really hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I did just order a full harness set from 8 Sin that I've been wanting for like years now but I never had like enough money to justify spending like 75 quid on like a full harness set but I just ordered it and it's super super cute. I think I might do a video on definitely like the top half of like how to style 
harnesses as like like over clothes and stuff and like with clothes i'm not sure about that i'll see how it goes but i feel like that might be quite a fun video to do um if anyone has anything else they'd like to see from me just let me know but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know any critiques or criticisms or like things that you liked about this video remember to comment below and my instagram will be below and like and subscribe and everything and i will see you in my next video which i said last time but never happened but i'm i just filmed one so i don't i'm gonna upload i'm gonna be myself anyway And check out my Instagram, that will be... This happened in my last video, my computer tells me the time, I'm sorry about that.